guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is hannah and i'm the mom with muscle and in today's video we are doing april's best of home goods home decor items so if this is something you're interested in watching just keep on watching but if you haven't already though please be sure to like comment and subscribe you know to hit that bell button for every time i upload a video and if you're not already following me on instagram i would love to have you over at mom with muscle Without further ado, let's get into this video. So I am starting a home goods series. I came up with this idea overnight and I figured it would be really fun to bring to you guys a home goods series every single month. Now what that series is going to include is I'm going to be going to home goods on a monthly basis to bring the best products that I find home decor, furniture, accessories, you name it. I'm going to highlight it in every single video every single month. Now, obviously, as we know, inventory changes very frequently in home goods. And so I'm going to be the person that's going to show you guys the best items every single month. I do this on my Instagram where I go to home goods, I take pictures and I highlight it in my stories. And I've gotten a lot of people loving this kind of like, I guess, series or highlights um, for that matter. And I've helped people find items that they have been looking for, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna bring it to YouTube. And every single item that I showcase within my video, I'm going to state the style number and I'm going to state the price of it. Now, what you're going to do with that style number, if you don't know, it's a very particular number for every single item. All you have to do is call your local home goods and ask them if they have that particular item using the style number that I provide in my videos. This will help you guys a ton when you are trying to hunt down an item. That way you're not driving all over town trying to find it. All you have to do is give the local home goods a phone call and ask them if they have the item. But I am super excited to bring this to you guys. I go to home goods maybe once a week, maybe sometimes twice more so than I'm proud to say, but this is what I do for a living and you guys love it. So anticipate a home goods video every single month. It's going to state the month in the thumbnail. So you guys know if you are up to date on whether or not it is a updated video based on the month. So without further ado, let's get into this video. <music> The first stop I made was in the home decor section where I found these really interesting bookends. They kind of remind me of bamboo shoots. They did come in a black iron and a brass. I gravitated towards the black and those ones were priced at $14.99. Obviously, you guys should know this by now, always go to home goods for your coffee table books. You will save a fortune. Next section was obviously their candle section. These were super cool. The small one was priced at $14.99 and the taller version was priced at $19.99. But I just love the exterior there. It's kind of in this natural wood-like fluted etching. And then this one was really pretty. This was a black wrought iron candlestick with the kind of circle center, which was really interesting and different for styling. And then if you guys have seen my tablescape, I bought a bunch of these selenite candlestick holders in a variety of tall and shorter, and they are just amazing. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably over the chain links, but these were super fun, and they were only priced at $20. They were in a black iron, and they did have some substantial weight behind them. Now, this next item was super amazing. It was totally an RH dupe with this seagrass-like material, and it had a glass top, a really, really great price at $179.99 and would make for a great coffee table. This next item, I just really loved the color of it. It's kind of in this light beige color. I loved the exterior on that door front, but it could make for a really great little side table or even fun in a bathroom for housing all of your essential items. And of course, Sway has got to have her cameo showing off her new teeths. Now this next pot was really beautiful. I loved the shape of it. I was not a fan of the colors, but this would be a super simple DIY if you wanted to spray a different color. And that one was only priced at $49.99. You guys are constantly asking me where I get my crystals. Here's a prime example of one, $49.99 and is a really great size. Would be a really great statement on any sideboard. These next chairs are awesome. These are wishbone chairs, as you guys know, are very popular right now. I loved the color combo of this. It was a very neutral woven seat with a light gray frame. And those ones were only priced at $149.99 a chair. This next little ottoman was really, really cute. It had almost a navy-like cushion on it with a natural 
frame. This would be great if you almost paired two of them as like an extra seating section for any living room. And then I loved this little black stool. This could be great in a bathroom or next to a couch with some decor on it. I just loved the kind of style of that. And as we are gearing up for summertime, you guys can anticipate a lot of lanterns coming to the stores. I just love this one because it's almost a little bit more modern and I loved the height of it. It was very substantial. And as I was standing there, I looked to my right and saw this really beautiful sideboard in a rattan door front. This one was a little bit pricier, but this one was priced at $599.99. There are the width and the dimensions as well as the designer. But I loved the color and I loved the door fronts on this. All right, we are moving into the lighting section and I have to tell you guys, home goods came through in this department. There were so many cool lamps that I found. This one was super unique with the cage around the actual shade. I thought that was super funky. This was another really beautiful find. It almost is like a alabaster on the exterior and I just love that. That one was only priced at $90 but would make such a great statement on the side of a bed. This one was super cute if you are one that loves styling little lamps in maybe your kitchen or in a powder bath. These were a little bit smaller and it came in two different colors. It came in that darker wood color and then it also came in this black color as well. This one was really cool with the wicker base if that is your style in the black shade. Loved that, loved the contrast. Oh, and there's Ryder. This one was awesome fine. This totally reminds me of something we've seen from Studio McGee and some of those amber interior type lamps with the stone type base. And this one was only priced at $59.99. So if you love that look, be sure to check out your local home goods. These were also a really great buy at $49.99. I just love that brass base and the white shade. Super simple and super chic. Here are some really beautiful gilt mirrors if you are on the hunt. This one was only priced at $149.99 if you are wanting that look for a lot less money. They definitely resembled the Primrose, but again, if you're wanting that look for a lot less money, be sure to check out your home goods for these beautiful brass gilt mirrors. This next art piece was super fun, could be an easy DIY. Once I zoom up on it, you guys will be able to see the texture on it, but very abstract. It was in a gray and white combination. And that one was priced at $179.99, but is a rather large size. Now, if you are into that antique kind of vintage oil painting, this one was only priced at $17 and it came with a frame and a beautiful mat. This next mirror is a total CB2 dupe. You could easily spray paint it a different color if you didn't like white, but it also was on sale for $69 and my daughter is doing the thriller dance there and picking her nose. <laughs> I was going to take this out, but it had me laughing so hard that I had to keep it. <laughs> Gotta love a three-year-old. <laughs> this next chair I could totally see in someone that has a beach coastal inspired home style. This seat is made out of a banana leaf with kind of a cherry wood frame. I thought that was really pretty of the texture from the banana leaf from the dimension of the frame. Now, if you have a boho type style home, this would be a great bench to add to any entryway or any kind of drop station section. It was only priced at $129.99 and I loved the pattern there. It was in a black and kind of linen cream like material with a natural base. These next chairs are a complete Lulu and Georgia dupe. They are almost identical. This one was in a light gray linen and it was really cool because they had two of them, which is actually rather rare to find at a home goods. Usually you'll find one chair and then you'll have to call another home goods to find the matching pair. But these ones were only priced at $400 as in comparison to the Lulu and Georgia ones that are priced at 1100 per chair. So this was a great dupe and a great find. And this last console table was a super cool find, kind of a transitional piece, great for an entryway. It had real marble on the top and it was in a very light oak. This was handcrafted from India and it was priced at $299.99. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the very first video of my home goods best of. And until next time and until next month, I will see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. We'll see you then. Peace. Mm -hmm.